Goal 10 is about reducing inequalities between and within countries, creating a chance for everyone to live a good life, regardless of their age, sex, race, ethnicity, origin, religion, health, or economic status is one of the main objectives of the United Nations. The COVID-19 pandemic has made this all the more urgent. While the virus does not discriminate, its impacts do. The pandemic is a risk to us all, but has disproportionate effects on the health and livelihoods of some people and communities. Some of the most vulnerable in the face of this crisis are those already at risk. The UN family in Vienna and around the world are working to reduce inequality by supporting those who need help and giving a voice to the most vulnerable. I appeal to families everywhere and leaders at all levels, protect our children. The U.S. humanitarian agencies are working around the clock to get protective equipment to where it's needed most. The Vienna International Center has closed its doors as a COVID-19 prevention measure, but at homes across Vienna and around the world, UN system staff are continuing their work. The Vienna-based International Atomic Energy Agency is helping countries use one of the fastest and most accurate scientific methods for detecting viruses like the coronavirus, a method that's based on nuclear technology. Diagnostic kits, equipment, and training are being delivered to over 100 countries. The Vienna-based UN Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, is helping to produce protective gear like disinfectants, masks, gowns, and gloves in Africa. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization, WHO, has appealed for all countries to immediately address a global shortage of nurses. Support to health systems in poorer countries was a priority for the UN even before COVID-19. On a eu beaucoup de matériel qu'on n'avait jamais manipulé, beaucoup de techniques. Et ça nous a aidé dans la vie. Si une fois, il y arrivait une épidémie et on était hors des experts, on peut se prendre à charge. Many jobs like nursing are performed by women, and women are the front lines of this crisis delivering healthcare and critical services. WHO says good protective equipment, but also funding and education and fair salaries for those who work in hospitals is essential to have enough nurses for this crisis and the next. Women across the board are poorer than men. Many work in the sectors worst hit by business closures, including service sector and tourism. In the coming three months, the second trimester of the year, we expect 195 million jobs to go uh, around the world. UN Secretary General Guterres has called for women and girls to be placed at the heart of the recovery once COVID-19 recedes. The UN development agencies like Vienna-based UNIDO are already gearing up to help countries build back better with more inclusive and sustainable economies that are more resilient in facing pandemics, climate change, and other global challenges. Two factors, in fact, uh, will determine the strength of our recovery. One um, is how quickly uh, the pandemic is brought under control. And two, uh, the policy choices governments make. The UN family is working hard to give all the world's people the chance for a better life. If you want to help too, download the SDGs in Action app or visit www.un.org for more ideas. Thank you for watching.